Girl, no, you're trying to steal other people's sugar daddies. You're trying to steal other people's daddies. That's all you were trying to do because you wanted that thousand dollars. My pimp and got him hugged. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl codename Chanel and I'm back, but clearly I'm back on the floor. <laughs> no, I'm back with a story time, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I love you guys so much. I am doing the, I don't really have an uploading schedule. I'm probably one of the only YouTubers that don't have an uploading schedule. I'm just that, that, that ghetto. And that pisses me off. Hey you guys, right now, I'm gonna do the story time, right? But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. <laughs> no, for real. No, you guys, let me know if I should make a TikTok. Because I feel like my like my voices, they be using my little voices on TikTok. Let me know if I should make one. Um, but okay, so this story time. <laughs> I never thought I was going to do it. Oh, while I'm doing the story time, I'm going to be organizing my makeup. And um, I have to because I paid somebody to do it and they didn't do it at all. They, I literally paid somebody to like, you know, clean or whatever. I got them off a of task rabbit and this is how it looks. Like, I feel like this should have been organized or is it just me? Do I just want too much? Like, let me stop using task rabbit at the end of the fucking day. Um, anyway, okay. So this story time, I never thought I was really going to share it with you guys like that. Like, I... Because, I mean, if you want to hear a juicy, juicy story time, like, if you literally want to hear some juice and you want to see, <laughs> stay tuned because I never thought I was going to do this. So, now, I have a Patreon, okay? Um, A lot of YouTubers do. It's where, you know, we give you guys exclusive content and just be more of ourselves on there. It's more of a exclusive community. Um, And on there, I give extra sugaring tips so i am probably like the finesse queen i'm just playing but no i'm really i'm all about leveling up like dating guys who like to spoil you and who are generous and if it happens to be a sugar daddy then it happens to be a sugar daddy so that's what i built my whole channel off of my very first um story time was how i um my first sugar daddy experience and yeah, so that's 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 like my brand, you know, codename Chanel, codename Sugar Baby. <laughs> but I consider myself a finesse baby. But anyway, um, so I help other women um get sugar daddies. I have a group chat, right? My group chat has it's grown from 50 girls to about 200 and something girls. I limit it every month. Um, but yeah, so if that's the tea, I hope that breaks it down to you guys. Um, having a Patreon and having a group chat and communicating with women, and this is before I had an assistant or anything, um, it is, you know, it can get catty. It can get a little catty. Um, I've had a few experiences where it's like, oh, okay, it gets a little ghetto in here. Um, and you know, a few incidents where it was kind of like upsetting a little bit, but this by far has to be one of the crazy experiences in my life. Like craziest things ever it was it's pretty insane so wrap your popcorn because it's gonna be a bumpy ride right so i have a process where i get girls into my group chat right when girls get into my group chat or whatever they give me like they little you know information what not what not and um i screen you know i ask several questions and you know they're in the group chat right um one of these girls in particular she um needed sugar and advice we're gonna call her z so z needed sugar advice and she basically um what a few weeks or so being in the chat she ended up getting an online sugar daddy off of tinder tinder gold so tinder's poor i don't be on there but the girlies do okay i don't be on tinder gold i, I don't i don't be on tinder anyway so she's you know interacting DMing me privately, asking me private messages. I'm helping her. Like, I mean, this is a few weeks, so you know, almost a month go by, and I'm, you know, helping this girl. And um, I thought she was a sweetheart, I thought she was cool. She gave other women advice, um, uh, whatever, right? So it all started <laughs> when um this other girl who I was mentoring gets in the chat, right? And we're gonna call her Lala. So Lala gets in the chat. 
And um, she, you know, she's sending messages, sending messages. And I started noticing that the message that she was sending did not have the guy's name covered up. That's one of my rules in the chat. You have to have the, the your dude's name. You have to have the potential, which we call a pot number saved so that you don't send a number into the chat. You don't know these girls. You don't know what they're capable of, but we will find out soon. <laughs> We'll find out soon what they're capable of. So she was sending it and she, I guess she didn't save the guy's number. And he sent, spent like thousands of dollars on her. She messaged me one day and was like, um, how come, um, she, she's like, did I do something wrong? The guy just went MIA. This is the potential sugar daddy. He went MIA. He hasn't been messaging me. He hasn't been talking to me. Um, he doesn't respond to my messages. So I'm like, what's the last message you sent? She showed me the last message. Seemed like everything was good. He was saying how much he cared about her. And if she needed anything, let him know. She needed something. She let him know. And he, she never got a response. So it was like a week since she got a response. I was like, you know, something could have happened. You never know in these time, these these ages. Um, I think this was during the pan, the pan pan. No, this was before, before lockdown. Mm, good times. Anyway, so you never know. So I don't like ever like assume that someone just ghosted me. Although ghosting is a thing, um, I never just assumed that someone ghosted me, whatever. So, so y'all, she, so she don't know what happened, right? So then it started being like a lot of girls coming up to me week after week. This is week after week. Hey, so this guy, he just stopped talking to me and I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. So I kind of started seeing a pattern. Like, why is this happening every week? It's the same message. And I'm thinking like, so, okay so this i'm i'm okay so does anybody else love conspiracy theories like i thought it was some kind of conspiracy i was like oh wow it's all the same girl she's pretending to be different girls and claiming that they she's having all these issues so i couldn't put my finger on it i just kept telling girls i don't know send me the last message i don't know reach back out reach back out so one of the girls actually did reach back out to the guy come closer come closer you know what the guy sent her He sends her a screenshot of my chat, my finesse chat, where we talk about getting sugar daddies and getting money and helping each other. Yeah, yeah. He screens, sends her a screenshot of my chat. So I'm like, how did that happen? How did he even get screenshots from my chat? Tell me. I have to laugh. I'm sorry. This is so ridiculous. I can't stand here. I can't sit here and hear this. How did you do it? How did he do it? Tell me. So I asked her, I was like, can you ask some questions? Like how to get the information, how to get the whatever like that. So I started to notice, so I, I go back, I started to notice a lot of these girls weren't saving the guy's numbers. So when they put the number in the chat, the number was clear to see clear to see so you know someone else had messaged me and was like i've been in a group where this happened before and you know they the girl kept doing it and was reaching out to like the sugar daddies and stuff and so so i was like oh my god like this is gonna happen to my chat and i just hate this i just was feeling like so helpless and so freaking annoyed because i'm like you know most of these guys they don't really like i'm not gonna say like they don't really care but I'm going to say, like, if it's how it's presented to them. Like, if someone's like, oh, well, this chat is to rob men, then, of course, they're going to feel some type of way. So I think that's kind of how it was presented to them with the messages and stuff like that. Anyway, so couldn't figure out who it was. I started thinking, like, it could be this girl, it could be this girl. But it was hundreds of girls in the chat. So I'm like, so I'm like, who could it possibly be? Like, I, I just can't, I can't, like, think, like, who, who would it be? So I reached out to one of my friends who was in the chat. We're going to call her. We're going to call her Megan. So I reached out to Megan. I'm like, can you help me figure this out? Like, what should we do? Megan comes up with a plan. She's like, I'm going to put that. I have a sugar daddy. I'm going to put it in the chat. And I'm not going to save his number. And I'm going to wait for the girl to reach out to me. So she, I created a fake number. She acts like it's her texting the sugar daddy. And we put it in the chat. Well, she puts it in the chat like, hey, y'all, I just got this money out of this guy. Blah, 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 right? Lord behold, literally, 
two seconds later i get a message like hey it's a chat full of girls trying to manipulate and, and get money out of guys they're not gonna ever have sex with you they're not gonna do anything with you i'm trying to protect you and i it's me that she's sexing this person is sexing so my mouth is on the floor at this point i'm like what in the backstabbing sisterhood hoe is going on here and at the end of the day and I said this on my live because I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that. Who are you? The pussy police? You are mad that we're getting money out of guys and we're not having to sleep with them. So you are telling them this, that they're not going to have sex. They're not, you're not obligated to have sex with anybody. So what are you even trying to say? It was getting, it got really ghetto really fast. It got really ghetto really fast. So y'all know what I did. So I we put on me and Megan, we put on our thinking cap. We was like, who could this be who could this possibly be and Megan kept saying she kept saying it's Z it's Z I'm telling you it's Z I'm like no it can't be Z I talk to her all the time Z is such a sweetheart it cannot possibly be Z so she's like watch this she sends a message and she's like hey she pretends to be you know she tells she um tells me she's like pretend to say um that you'll give her a thousand dollars if she tells you more information you just need somewhere to send it z being the greedy loser that she is since her cash app right and she's like but you can't tell her you can't tell the girl you can't tell the girl right so i'm like mm, okay and you know we agree we're not gonna tell no we're not gonna tell the girls we're not gonna tell the girl i'm not gonna tell her anything whatever right since her cash app and her cash app doesn't necessarily have her face on it but it does say a, a name similar to z's name like like zebra right so i'm like hmm so I, we go on twitter we couldn't find anything i'm like but we found this other girl that used to be in my group and i'm like could this be her i'm like this has to be her like but how would she still see this? like it was just so many questions running through my head i didn't know like it was like it was it was, it was traumatic you guys it was a traumatic situation um so we want to say thank you so much we sent her a dollar like okay i just want to make sure that's you blah 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 you know whatever she's like yeah it's me yeah it's me she starts sending screenshots to Megan, right? So she starts sending screenshots to me and Megan, like we're, we're the guy, right? Of more conversations. And this time the screenshots do not have her face blocked out of them. Like in the group chat, you can see like who's messaging who. And if, if you're the person messaging it, then it highlights like red. If you ever have a group chat or group me or whatever. I mean, it highlights like dark gray. It's you was z y'all it was her it was her the girl i'm mentoring the girl that's messaging me it was z really i don't, understand. I don't know how y'all do shit where you from but let me tell you something where i'm from we don't do oh, shit like that we really like it's just like when when do y'all have the time when do you have the time and then her excuse to the guy which was me is that her brother had been finessed before and he got his heart broken and she doesn't want to see it happen anymore. Girl, no, you're trying to steal other people's sugar daddies. You're trying to steal other people's daddies. That's all you were trying to do because you wanted that thousand dollars and you're a hater at the end of the day. She's a hater. Like if I ever see, you know, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to do it. But baby, you're a hater. You're a hater. You're a hater. If you look up hater in the dictionary, you will see Z and that's just on period. So anyway, I tell the girls in the chat, I'm like, hey, you guys, I'm gonna do a surprise live tonight. See y'all tonight. And I named the I named the live um after a quote that we know Marie Antoinette did not say. It was never confirmed, but let them eat cake. I love Marie Antoinette. So that's why I named the live. I have the Medusa girl there or whatever, right? So I tell the live. Like I'm on, you know, Patreon, I'm on live, and I'm like, hey, you know, y'all, there's a snake in our midst. There's a snake in our, there's a snake. Yeah, there's a snake. I said, there's a rat tat tat tat. There's a rat tat 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 up in the chat, 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 chat. So Z is on the live. How perfect is this? And she's like, ooh, who's the snake? Who's the snake? She's typing, like literally typing this, y'all. I'm telling you guys, go to my Patreon. Um, I It's on my live videos. It's on my live videos. Um, so mad. And she was like, who is it? Who is it? And I waited for some more people to get on live. And I said, it's you, bitch. You the snake. It's you. Z, Z, you the snake. You're the one messaging guys. You're the one messaging guys. I have the proof. I have the proof that it's, that it's you. It's you. Y'all, 
She left that live so fast. <gasps> oh! <laughs> blocked me off of Instagram. Like literally, as soon as she like blocked me off of Instagram, all that. All that. So the girls in the chat, they're just like, how did you know? Why didn't you tell us this was going on? Because like I was like, I didn't know who it was. I didn't know who it was, but she definitely was caught. And you can't finesse a finesser. At the end of the day, you cannot finesse a finesser. Um, it's always gonna come back to bite you. Okay, and um, you guys, if y'all want to know like more of what happened, like afterwards or whatever, and after the live, it's on my Patreon. You guys join ten bucks, you'll see the whole live. It literally was in real action what happened, and it's pretty crazy. And tell me, guys, y'all thoughts? Have y'all ever been through something like that? Like someone sitting there befriending you, literally paying to stab me in the back. Like you're literally paying for my Patreon every month to stab me in the back. That's weird. That's weird, babe. I don't like that. I don't like that. But go ahead. If you enjoyed this story time, you guys, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the notification bell below. And enjoy. Um, follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel, Snapchat, Chanel Kid Herb. And I'm pretty much out. That's pretty much it for the story time, y'all. I'm out. I'm still shocked by that story. I'm out.